Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. Well, today's video is about blankets, blanket whips, and more blankets, and a little boggy creek at the end. It's very early in the morning here. I wanted to record this video. Um, I thought it was really fun and important, and it will be scheduled to go live when I am mid-air flying to the UK. So I hope you stay and enjoy all the content and watch it right through to the end because it will be blanket whips, blanket whips, blanket whips, and a little boggy creek at the end. So let's get started. I decided to do this video, one, I started a blanket um, in my car for when I am running my son around and waiting for appointments while he has this health issue. And um, I'd forgotten that I had other blanket whips I could have taken. I did ask my subscribers and followers, do they count their blanket whips in their total whip count or is it a side project? The response was amazing. But 98% of you include them in your total whip count, which I don't, but I will from now on. My blankets will be included in my whip count and hopefully I won't forget about them. So starting with Blanket number one, which I started in January. I'll need my glasses because I've got two pages of notes. It could be a long one. I hope you've got a cuppa. Um, and a little project to do while I'm explaining to you about my blanket whips. So I started in, in January. I had my own make along going and then I started to do this one. It was called Hip To Be Square with ADHD. Now listen, all the patterns, tutorials, channels I mentioned, and some other things, it will be all in the description below. It'll probably take me a week to put them all in there. Anyway, hip to be square. I decided as with my make along colors and what I was doing with my sh um, shutter bug, I'd do some squares at the same time. And I did the crisscross square, all these. I think I've got about 30 of them. I have started joining them, but um, there's the blanket. And that will be a charity blanket. These are made in um, Spotlight 8-ply, three-weight yarn that's a local yarn we get here. And yeah, these are all scrap squares of different colours that I had enough to do a square and edge. I'm joining them with black, a slip stitch join. So I will weigh all the, I have weighed all the squares and I will weigh it when it's finished. I'll work out how much yarn usage I have used to put in my yarn usage for the year. But that is my first blanket whip, hip to be square. I'm not great on joining squares and I never really like making them, but occasionally I will do them. So that is whip number one. Whip number two, I started in May and I have decided to finish this. I will take it on the plane with me as my traveling project. It is a v-stitched uh, blanket by Ophelia Talks. I think the original one I watched was her stash busting um, tutorial because I used it to make a blanket for crochet for cancer and I decided I'd make another one and here it is. I have done that much of it and I'd forgotten about it. I only started it in May so it looks really pretty. I am using Premier DK Colours Anti-Pilling 3-Weight Yarn or 8-Ply and they're 350 metres in a cake and I have four of these. Now I'm fairly certain I had one and my friend Janet Lepre, thank you Janet, sent me three others in the same colour. So there will be enough to make a lap gan. Sorry there will be background noise today, especially early in the morning. and. This is going to be my traveling project to crochet on the plane. Because like I said before, it's like seven hours to Singapore and then like 13 and a half, 14 hours to the UK with a stopover in Singapore. So I need a crochet project. Now, when I've, it's the first time I've gone with Singapore Airlines. Other airlines out of here don't like you taking knitting. They don't mind crochet, but they don't want you taking, taking knitting needles. But I didn't bother checking with Singapore, I thought, I'll just take this. V-stitch blankets, really easy to make. Looks lovely. My edges stay nice and straight. And it's not hard to do. I'm using a 3.5, 7.5 crochet hook, clover and wool hook. 
and that will be in my manatee bag. I've got two more in there. I've already finished one cake on my second. Yes, it's shower proof and I do find that the overhead compartments get very cold and things feel damp. So if it goes up there, it'll be a bit insulated in my manatee bag sent to me by Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. So that is whip number two. Whip number three. Now, I started this for Crochet for Cancer. I finished a lap gown and I start a new one. And I'd gone through my stash and decided I was going to make like a pink blanket. I had a lot of pink. So, here it is. Like I said, a lot of background noise. I have neighbours who get up early and start mowing at like 7 in the morning. Sometimes it's just a bit much. There you go. That is my Lark's Hook blanket, which is upside down, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, that's how much I've done of that. And then I just sort of put it aside and forgot about it. So the Lark's Hook, I can't remember where I learned it. Um, there are tutorials. If I find one, I'll put it in the description below. So I'm using all my Marvel 8-ply pink colours. So I do two rows of one and then I change. And I introduced a bit of purple to give it a break in all the pinks. And I'm using a Clover or More 4mm crochet hook for that. But yeah, um, that is where I don't usually join in the middle of a row. I do enclose borders to hide all my joins. But that, in the middle of the row there, is actually where the yarn, I've lost it now, is damaged. And I had to tie it off a bit because I didn't want to start two whole new rows. So, yeah, I will have, here it is, that is where it's gone all split and fluffy and not right. So I've looped it over and I will stitch that end in. But it's unusual for me to have an end in the middle of a blanket row. I like to put them at the ends of each row. But that is the Lark's Foot Blanket Whip number two. Living in this project bag which was sent to me by the lovely Colleen. I hope, there you go. I'm not sure if it's not flaring in this light. I hope you're feeling well, Colleen, and um, haven't heard from you for a while. So take care. I love this bag. It's like, I like these lightweight bags for blanket projects. So whip number two. Oh, that would, sorry, whip number three. Can't even count this morning. Whip number four. So this is when I started because I really wanted to do the pattern. And I do enjoy the pattern, but I stopped because of one reason. I will finish it because I've changed my mind now. I started it only in August, early August, and put it aside because I was like, hmm. So it's living in my Ken's boomerang bag borrow a reuse these are around our local city they're made out of lightweight cotton with a pocket i really like them when you get given them uh, because we don't really like using plastic bags here and the, this one is the perfect for a blanket lightweight so whip number four we'll just put it there is the bavarian stitch blanket rectangle with fiber spider it looks really pretty, but for me, I like them to look the same both sides, and this doesn't, and it stopped me. But now I've taken a break, I don't mind the reverse side, it does look quite nice. So that's the Bavarian Stitch Blanket, and I'm using a 4.5mm crochet hook for that. So, yarn. It's Big Scoop, Big Scoop ice cream yarns by Lion Brand that I bought absolutely years ago. There is a full skein, but I've lost the ball band, so I can't tell you the colour. But that's the colour mix. It will make one lap gan to the sizes I need for charity. But if you know the colour, because I've tried to check it out and I can't really tell, let me know in the comments below. But it is turning out really pretty. It's a great tutorial by Fibre Spider. Um, yeah, 
if you feel like making a Bavarian stitch blank, I can recommend that tutorial very well. So whip number five. This is the one I started in the car. Forgetting I had these other blankets I could have taken with me and finished. So this one's living in my bag from Bruges. Oops, orange bag, my favorite color. Flip it over. Let's get organized, Judy. Bruge bag from Belgium when I went to Bruges in Belgium. Would love to go back. Love the bicycles with their flower planters on the front. They're really pretty that are around town. But yes, it's a bit heavier. It's more of a linen bag. Anyway, this one is the blanket I started in the car to keep me busy while waiting for Reeves. And here it is. It is the Sober Granny by Krista at The Secret Yarnery. I make this blanket a lot for charity because it keeps the edges straight. I don't have to think, it's easy and it looks great. It has great texture. You can make it tight or holier than you want. Like you can drape it with a bigger hook or you can make it really tight. So that is my Sober Granny blanket. Um, now it's made with, and I'm this, they are, giant balls it is red heart aran which was made in australia at the australian yarn company for red heart i'm not even sure if they still do it's a 300 gram ball and there are 525 meters in each ball just a minute no i don't have one handy because i have six in this color i also have six in another color some i bought myself some were gifted to me but yes I do like this. It is a heavier weight. It's like a, um, Aaron's like a four weight or equal to probably our Spotlight Saver yarn. But the Sober Granny is really one that I automatically go to if I have to make a charity blanket for someone quickly because it whips up so quick. So that was whip number five. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter, which is recommended on the label for that. There you have it, Red Heart Aaron. My five whips, blankets I'd forgotten about, ones that I've started, but I've started another one. Blanket number six, because luck of the draw started. Luck of the draw number nine. Luck of the draw was introduced to us by Nancy at um, Next Knots. Nancy at Next Knots, something like that. And she took a break and she's still taking a break, but this year it's going to be hosted by Mama Swift who we haven't seen on video for a while. And she designed some lovely blanket patterns. She's actually designed one for Boggy Creek, which one the Yarn Addict did a tutorial for. And you can use it for look, luck of the draw. I'm not doing that because I decided on something else. So I'll just grab it. Now this project is in the first project bag I ever bought. Um, drawstring I bought it from a local market it was a real quiet market and I got chatting to the lady and she hadn't made any sales and I bought two of her project bags that were five dollars each it's really good quality fabric it's got chipmunks on it the chipmunks and yeah I bought two off her and I this is my first ever project bag I bought anyway luck of the draw Number nine, I've done a few over the years. I do enjoy doing them. So you pick a base color and then you have eight colors. And each week, Mama Swift will draw out a number. First number out was number three. But for me, it's gonna be a bit different this year. So what I have done is, this is my luck of the draw. It is the brick stitch blanket. And I learned this from a tutorial by Bag A Day. I really like this. This makes another great charity blanket with straight edges for me. Get the feeling my edges tend to wander. That's why I pick ones that guarantee me a straight edge. Yes, this is it here. So my base color is this. I am going to make it in Stylecraft Special DK Double Knit, which is a eight ply or three way. And this color is called sunshine I have quite a bit of this color I do have a few balls of Starcraft but not eight colors and I'll explain what I'm going to do this 
is cloud blue in Starcraft. This is matador red. I think there might be enough to do my rose. So basically, when she draws out the number, week one was number three, so it became cloud blue. If there's enough red, week two, whatever the number, will become matador red. And when I'm in the UK, I can buy more Starcraft colours in the DK. Look, if I can't find it in the shops, I can order it from Wool Warehouse and have it delivered to my son's apartment really cheap. So that is my plan, to make my luck of the draw with Starcraft DK and buy some colours when I'm in London to have a little yarn therapy. It's beautiful and soft yarn. Um, some of the colours, I know with the white, you have to be careful with your technique. It will split. I do have white, but at this stage I don't plan to use white. So I will be taking this with me with the red and some sunshine yellow and see how I progress. This will be just another project for when I want a bit of time out. So that is my six whips, which brings me to Boggy Creek. There are lots of podcasters and people out there doing videos for Boggy Creek and there's a Boggy Creek Brigade who go live, live I think, a Northern Hemisphere time. It's Wednesday. For me, it might be Thursday morning, something like that. So, yes, and I've been watching those. And in one of those, Mad Mimi, Laura, Crochet and Farming, she double, she dog dared as quadruply to make a blanket for Boggy Creek. And I cannot resist a challenge. She's done double dog dares, but this is quadruple dog dare. You make a blanket for Boggy Creek. I'm going to make one. It may be one of these. It may be a new one. I don't know. And send it over to the US for Boggy Creek. Two people are collecting the blankets. There is Nancy as she's got yarn and yarn the yarn, yarn the yarn addict. I have trouble with that. I don't know why. They're different parts of the country. So if you're down under and you want to send a blanket, work out which one is the shortest route because it will cost you less in postage. So watching that and having a lot of laughs with people, I decided while I'm away, Australian and New Zealand subscribers only, I want you to join me and make a blanket for Boggy Creek. And I am going to give away one male blessing to the value of $50. Now this is only open to Australian and New Zealand subscribers because the hashtag will be Boggy Creek Down Under. My apologies to the people in the north, but I just wanted to show some support for the people collecting these blankets from Down Under. I know in the past, a long time ago, I did one of these giveaways just restricted to Australia and New Zealand and I caught a lot of flack and lost subscribers. So personally, that's just the way it is. I want it to be from Down Under. Why? Because over the years, fundraising for my little friend Emma, a lot of people in the north have sent me, made donations, done things for me, given me things, sent me things to sell for Emma's Quest. If you don't know Emma, there'll be a little photo at the end. She's 14 now and she's full of vigour when she's well. She's just getting over pneumonia that really knocked her around. Being a teenager, as Doreen tells me, she has all the teenage angst and her and her mother keep butting their heads. We still fundraise, but not like big things. Like we raise, fundraise for a car that the wheelchair could go in. We fundraise for her a therapy pool at her forever home. But there are still costs when you're a single mother like Doreen that you need to fundraise for because she wants to give her daughter an independent life. And having said that, this month, a lovely subscriber, podcaster, I'm not going to mention the name, went into my Kofi account and bought the three patterns that are for Emma that I donate the money to. I don't take any fees or anything and it was a lovely gesture and I really appreciate it. I hope you know who you are and thank you very much because that money actually clicked over another hundred dollars we fundraised this year. So it was really special and it is always special. 
but people in the Northern Hemisphere do think of us. So I would like our Yarni friends in the Southern Hemisphere to think of the people collecting in the Northern Hemisphere. My long explanation as to why my, my blessing for mail is just for Australian and New Zealand subscribers. So I hope you're not offended. Please don't send me nasty emails, I'll just ignore them. It was pretty bad last time, I was really shocked. Anyway guys, how do you enter? If you have a blanket on the go and you want to finish it and it meets the requirements. So boggy creep blankets must be, and I'm going to read this so I don't mess it up, either 35 inches or 40 inches wide. 40 inches is about 80 centimetres I think, or is it 100? I don't know. You'll have to check out centimetres if you don't do inches. Just Google it. What is 40 inches in centimetres? What is 35 inches in centimetres? And then you'll know how big, how wide your blanket must be. For length, it can be 40 inches or 50 inches. Now, if you do 40 by 40, you've got a perfect square and you could just do a granny square till you reach the size. So yes, the other thing is they must be 100% acrylic. No wool, no natural fibres because of the children at the camp who will have allergies. Now, if you wanna know about Boggy Creek, there will be a link to their launch video on what it's all about. But this year, it finishes in January, 2025, and they are hoping to collect 2,025 blankets. In the past, I've donated a bit of money towards a male blessing. I think it might be last year, it could be the year before, I'm getting old. I did a collaboration with Madonna Ballard. She made the blanket. I sent her the money for the mail and she forwarded the blanket. So yes, that was my little collab with Madonna. And she made her blanket with my make along, which was really great. So how do you enter? Well, as I said, if you've got a blanket on the go, you can finish it or you can start a blanket. It kicks off from when you see this video. It will close on September the 30th, have I put? Da -da 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 -da. I'll draw, well, I get back about the 2nd of October, so I'll draw it's the winner sometime in the first week of October. So that's when you have to have your blanket finished by. You need to send me some photos through email if you don't do social media, or you can join the Facebook group, or if you're already in the Facebook group, you can post your pictures there. Giving us a bit of information like what yarn, what hook, what pattern, that would be nice. Or you can post your pictures on Instagram with the hashtag Boggy Creek down under. So yes, Australian and New Zealand subscribers, I hope you're inspired to make a blanket. Mail costs from here are astronomical. And um, I'd like to be able to encourage someone to make a blanket and actually send one for them. Often it's the postage that stops us sending things overseas. And those who make a blanket and don't win the postage blessing, well you've already got a blanket to give to someone or donate to a local charity. Because 40 by 40 is perfect for me for any local charity. Um, the reason I'm also making it down under is I sold four tea cozies on my Etsy shop and I only sell to Australia and New Zealand because no one really wants to pay the postage to go overseas. So yes, those four tea cozies, Etsy do take out a lot of fees, but I did make a reasonable profit and I'm going to use that money to give back to my Australian and New Zealand subscribers. If you go on Etsy and see my shop, favorite some of my items, let's raise it in the algorithms because often the profits I make get donated to charity or reinvested back into the channel. So it's one postage blessing of $50 for one participant who takes part in my Boggy Creek Down Under. I'll be able to check videos and pictures when I'm overseas. It will encourage me to keep making my blankets and finishing them. And we should have some fun and hopefully you'll be inspired. Because in the description below will be the sizes that you require. Link to the Boggy Creek um, I guess a launch video, Nan's Next Knots, you could be inspired by that and join Luck of the Draw. It's not too late. I'll be, the day I take off in the morning, I think I'll find out what week two number is. 
And yeah, there'll be Charm Grammy, who's part of the Boggy Creek Brigade, has put together a playlist of people who have made new tutorials this year for Boggy Creek. So if you want to make a different blanket, check that out. Or you can just make it a simple granny square and let it grow. There are lots of great channels out there who do blanket tutorials. I don't know if I'd have it in me. I think it'd end up looking like someone else's and someone else's. I'd smash them together and it wouldn't be original. Um, what else is there? So remember, usual rules. You must be over 18 years of age. It's not affiliated with YouTube. All that will be in the description below. It's going to be a big description below this video. So starts when you see this video finishes let's say 11 59 30th of september and i'll draw the price sometime in the first week of october the only thing is to receive money you will need a paypal account i don't want to do direct deposits into bank accounts i don't want to know people's bank account details you have to have something like a PayPal account where I can send you money. I'm not going to do Western Union, any of that. I'll probably just do it through PayPal. And it's not hard to start a PayPal account. And sometimes when you're buying online, it's a lot safer to do that. There is also, if you want to pay a little bit of postage but not send a blanket, you can send squares. Billy the Crafty Floridian now, if I remember rightly, is collecting six inch by six inch squares. They must be in four weight yarn, which is equivalent to 10 ply like our Spotlight US Super Saver. That's perfect. Make them six inches by six inches. But she is putting together squares in themed blankets. So she wants squares that represent St. Patrick's Day, Halloween or Christmas. And she's in Florida. So if you make a few squares, you can even make solid colours that, in, that go with those themes and send them to Billy, the crafty Floridian. She's put so many blankets together. She must like doing putting squares together. So when I make squares, I should send them to her, get her to put them together and post them back to me because I hate putting them together. So there are lots of videos you can help with body, watching for Boggy Creek. You can watch all the lives. You can watch the tutorials. You can watch the channels and the brigade that are taking part, such as um, Charm Grammy, Nancy, she's got yarn, Billy, the crafty Floridian, Juan, the yarn addict. Oh, oh, and there's another one. Oh, is it Nina's not? So, oh, I should have written it down. It will be in the description below. I will list the Boggy Creek Brigade. They are all doing things. And, you know, if you do Tunisian, oh, what's the channel name? She has a Tunisian crochet tutorial for a blanket, which is something I keep saying I have to get really into. So while I'm traveling, let's have some crafting fun. Let's make a, a throw blanket for Boggy Creek or for a local charity. And make sure you post your pictures and hashtag it. Boggy Creek down under. All my Australian and New Zealand subscribers go into the draw when they enter for a $50 blessing and one person will win postage blessing. And it is on an honour system. I, If I send you the money, I do expect you to send the blanket and be honourable about it. Um, and those in the Northern Hemisphere, if you just want to have fun and make a blanket and maybe go into one of the drawers where you can win a postage blessing, up there that would be great let's get them to 2025 blankets and fill that truck there are lots of hashtags for boggy creek i really got inspired to do this because of emma i know how difficult it is for doreen to find places for emma to go to be included with children her own age or young adults now her own age it's always been difficult here um, I think a couple of years ago to get respite, she um, so Doreen, her mother, could just have a break for two weeks. She had to go to an aged care home on the Tablelands because that's all that was available. She had a lot of fun and they were lovely to her up there, but it's sort of sad that she has to go there. There aren't camps like that here. I also watch Colin Farrell, the actor, who I'm a big fan of on YouTube. There's an interview he did 
about his son with Angelman's disease and he'd like to start a camp like Paul Newman did. And he is trying to kick that off. He's an Irish actor, but I think he lives in the USA. And that is quite moving. So I'll put a link to that in the description below. I hope there's enough room for all this information. Anyway, guys, I hope you're inspired. I know Emma inspires me every day with her beautiful smile. And um, it's really nice that people ask after her. I will put a picture of Emma at the end for those of you who are new to the channel and don't know what she looks like. She is a special little girl. And, um, yeah, I, I laugh with Dory Tom in the office the other week that she's a typical teenager and banging heads. I think her favourite colour is still black. Not pink, not purple, black. Anyway, guys, I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy taking part or just watching and giving thumbs up to Boggy Creek channels. It is a really worthwhile cause in my area. It would be so beneficial. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and look out for my videos if I can make them from the UK and Europe. Bye for now.